All right, Gwen, what's up? What are we doing today? Yeah, so I come here weekly for PT, massage, and then as well I do strength afterwards. So for me, it's really important to have somebody overseeing my strength. A lot of times as an athlete, I am really good at compensating. And so I'm really working on um, yeah, having the proper form and I find that it really works my muscles intensely when I have the proper form. So um, come here, Matt uh, is my PT and we do PT and strength. So don't even let them go. There. So see how you round it out right there? That's what that's when you compromise the low back. Yeah, so right there. Set them in the back pocket. Head down. Right there. Go. There we go. There you go. That's better. How's that feel to you? Good. Good. Hard to not round out my back. That's exactly it, and that's where that's where we're that's where we get the compromise, right? Right there, perfect. Yeah. Good. Take a break. So it's the same exact technique as that single leg deadlift, but you can keep that back completely flat when you're doing the single leg, right? To so do the single leg as well? No, 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 no. It's no, the I same, see. Same yeah, technique. Same technique, yep. same technique yep. right? But you you do really well with that single leg that you start to round out. Yeah. So we just need a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. Over. Um, little rotisserie chicken, please. Okay. There we go. How's that feel on the shoulder? Fine. These are crazy looking. <laughs> I'm sure. There you go. Okay. Oh, you're adding weight. Just a hair. Oh. I want to spread those feet just a little bit more. That'll help us get the extension a little bit better. There you go. Pull it right into the My knees. My back's fine. Back looks better there. Yep. Breathing out on the way up. There you go. How's that weight feel? Fine. now? Yes. Yeah, there we go. There you go. There it is. How's that feel now? Good. Yeah. Bring that head down a little bit. You're keeping that head up. There you go. There you go. Nice. Nice. Last one. Nice. Done. Just like so. 
so. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Yep. If everyone feels better to you. I like that other way better. Yeah, I like that other way better too. I'm gonna do one more though. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, we'll just reach chicken, please. Yeah, I like. I think you get a better contraction. Yeah. From the first one? one? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. There you go. Good save. this on me. Okay. Try to keep everything nice and square so you're coming, you're powering from the hips, you're not powering from your body weight. Stick it over. Yep. There you go. Jamie, would you like to jump in here and twisties? Uh, hit some, sit some twisties with this one? So we won't get full range on these in terms of through here. Yep, yep. But uh, you, can, you can teach us the movement I'm looking for is soft knees. Yep. And just initiating movement. Yep. So hip, there's a little bit of hip. Yep. But mainly it's just ribs through to shoulders. Just coming through. Coming through, okay. Yep. Yep. And I think. One thing we learned just with Jace the other day is getting the flow first and then, and then looking at the little, the little bits. So stroke rate on these, probably starting off with a stroke rate about 35. Yeah, I'll put slow. a timer on the second. So not too slow. Yep. And then letting Gwen have that flow. And then we look at the, the key coaching for and look at tidying it up upon the flow rather than doing it at a stroke rate of 10 Right. Trying to be perfect. But start at a stroke rate of about 35 and then build competency with that stroke rate. Yep. This should hold my tie, I think. Where's my scrub zip tie? Yep. I mean, yeah, just set a metronome for 35. What is this exercise, Gwen? I've never done this exercise before, but it's working on my rotation and it's from Rowan Taylor. Look All him right. up. 
Look him up, everyone. R O H A N, Rowan. Ooh. What is that exercise that Gwen is doing? What is that for? So we call those twisties. So I was really fortunate years and years ago when I first started coaching to work with Rowan Taylor. And one of the things we used to do with the freestylers was, was the twisties and the backstrokers as well. So for Gwen, it's just giving her the ability to, to kick through the front part of the swim, the front 50 or front 200, and just to be strong through her rotation. And when she's kicking a lot, the rotations led more th through just above her hips and, and through the bottom of her rib cage. So getting her to have the ability simplistically to, to be flat with her kick and then to be able to rotate her upper body upon that flattish kick when she's sprinting. So yeah, that's the purpose of those twisties. I think Rowan taught me how to do those in 1996. So yeah, that's almost 20 years ago. So it's pretty cool to, to still be doing the things that I was influenced by, by the people I got to work with when I was aspiring to be a coach. So is this sort of hitting balance and strength at the balance same time because you time. can't let that go farther than your yep. end range? Yep. It's a huge, you can't cheat on this. Right. It's basically what it comes down to. I feel like our viewing public should know that these all don't look that crazy, but they are crazy. <laughs> they should go buy a mobile board and test it out. Yeah, give it a whirl before anyone comments. That's right. <laughs> I don't even want to try any of this. The little muscles in the feet. Uh, it's crazy when you can see all the little stabilizing muscles everywhere, working. just like twitching. Uh, so cool. Whoa. Good save, good save. outside okay sounds good so came here to do strength um, I did a few different exercises today I had to wait until 12 weeks postpartum to lift basically any weights and so we've been slowly building up from there we've done some like single leg deadlifts with like five pounds and so today was the first day that I actually got to use a bar to do deadlifts so I felt like we're actually progressing which is pretty exciting
exciting. But yeah, just coming back from postpartum, we've had to be careful about um, extreme weights and then ex as well getting more than, I'm going to get it wrong, but I think it's 70 uh, angle degree of flexion. And so I had to wait to do that until I was 12 weeks. And so I'm at week 14 now, so we did some heavier stuff. We introduced a couple new exercises today, the twisties for in the pool. I've just been struggling to activate my lats in the pool, and I really need to get better rotation. So that was one that we added in today, and then the um, RDLs with the bar, which is pretty exciting. I'm just excited that we're finally using bars and weights and stuff. Thanks for joining, everyone. Hope you guys learned some exercises that you can incorporate into your training.